Alfin, you okay? I'm fine. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village. Especially after everything they've done for us. Yeah. <sighs> you know, this alone kind of reminds me of home. The people here have hidden themselves away out of the fear of being found, always watching their backs. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh? Is that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? Yeah. I won't lie. Some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something too. My rage. This fury I feel at our so-called rulers. It comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Friends, family, home, they took everything from me and left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone. At least that's what I thought. But not anymore. Since I awakened, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bones with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting. But Xion comes first. Of course. First we rescue Xion, then we defeat Volron, and liberate Dana. Everyone, will you fight with me? Say the word and I'm there! Certainly no objections. Then it's agreed. Our next stop will be the capital, Pelegion. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Thistleum from the capital. Luckily for us, there's a path we can use to climb up. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. We don't know what lies ahead. We should prepare well before we venture forth. Exactly. By the way. Uh, <sighs> wait. It's not like all of the other. I see. Perhaps he could. <laughs> we don't know that it sank. We all washed. Do you think he might still be alive somewhere out there? I think stranger things have happened. Whether he's alive or otherwise, we've exhausted all the avenues available to us. All we can do now is press on ahead. Fine. Thistleum was founded by Danon's fleeing the tyranny of Renan lords, right? But when you first came, they must have known Dohalim was Renan. So why do you think they let us in? They almost didn't. But it wasn't just Dohalim they were wary of. 
They didn't trust any of us. Even though we're Danans just like them? When you live life in constant fear of being pursued, it's only a matter of time before all outsiders start to seem a potential threat. I suppose that makes sense. So how did you convince them to trust us? You saw how destitute the village was. They needed food, badly. We hunted some Zoogles for them. That seemed to do the trick. Of course, a little magic-assisted roast didn't hurt things. Never underestimate a full stomach's ability to put a person at ease. It turns out a hearty meal can be a powerful weapon. <sighs> Something's on your mind. You having second thoughts about rescuing Xion? Of course not! Xion's our friend! Almadria was the one I hated. For as long as I can remember, she served as a symbol to me of everything Renin. But ever since getting to know Xion, I realized it doesn't make sense to group people together like that. Every individual is different. I see. Besides, the situation with Almadria was something else entirely. I'd already decided I wasn't going to kill her, but when I saw her die right in front of me, a part of me thought it served her right, that she'd gotten what she deserved. But another part regretted that someone else had come along and killed her instead. Don't get me wrong. If I had the chance again, I still wouldn't kill her. But it's not like I'll be shedding any tears now that she's gone. <clears throat> <sighs> it's all so confusing. I don't know how to make sense of any of it. Who said it had to make sense? Huh? Rinwell, you've done nothing wrong. You've started to question the beliefs you've held all your life. It's only natural for you to feel disoriented. You didn't give in to the hatred you felt for Almadria. You made a choice not to kill her. And that's significant, whether you realize it or not. As for what it means exactly, that might be worth taking some time to figure out on your own. Some time. Or don't, if you don't want to. It's just an idea. I'm still searching too, remember? No, you're... I think you're right. It can't hurt to keep searching after all. And hey, thanks, Kisara. Okay. Why? <sighs> Damn it. Hmm. What? Is that so? Okay. Good job. I'll teach these small fry who's the apex ah. predator of the- These waters, just watch and see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. I guess we're having fish for dinner tonight. Is an owl around here. It feels like I'm melting. Calaglia was pretty hot, but at least the air there was dry. Out here, it feels like I'm trying to walk through thick soup. I can hardly breathe, it's so stuffy. And don't get me started on the insects. You hanging in there, Hoodle? 
It's brutal, all right. I can feel my energy being drained away just by walking. All this vegetation makes it hard to keep an eye out. Keep your wits about you, everyone. And watch you don't keel over while you're at it. What's needed at times like these is a relaxing hot spring. That would soon help us adjust. And where do you expect us to find one of those? What about you, Alfin? All that gear, and you hardly seem to be breaking a sweat. Yeah, I guess when you've lived a life devoid of... Well, lucky you... Sense one of your friends, Hoodle? <laughs> hmm? You're saying we should check the owl forest? <laughs> you sense one of your pals, Hoodle? Is that the Zoogle we were told to dispatch? Gotta break through! Oh, 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 let me help! Dragon shell! Throw away! Dance in the wind! Dragon strike! 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 Not my finest. You'll pay for that. I'll be saving this one. Here I come. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Here goes. Confiscated. <laughs> you picked the wrong fight. Head Here. To the wind. Here I come. Yeah. Oh. Get out of this! Does anyone else think this may be just a bit too tough for us? Everything looks fine with the lure. All right, let's do this. There's a nice breeze here. Think about that spot. Good idea. I'll go for that one. Huh. All right, once more from the top.
Is this what I think it is? I'm not gonna quit now. You tamed a real beast. This is thick with foliage. I know. It feels like we're going to be swallowed up by all these plants if we stay in here. Indeed. I much prefer the forests in Menencia myself. Not that I don't agree, but maybe now's not the best time for Elder Menencia Pride. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Blue will we'll try harder. My turn. Switch the Leave the target. Bring to me. Back. Like you made arms. me angry. I'll take out the leg with my shield. Charge like that. Just I'll take you all on. Ha! Flare the Thank you. 
ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Hmm? You're saying we should check the owl forest? There it is. That's our target. What's up? Once we get to the mountain, the terrain won't be easy. We should rest up here before pressing on. But what about Xion? She's waiting for us. All the more reason to conserve our energy. Huh? It's not only the mountain. Hard though that may be, it's a pittance compared to what follows. Namely, Volron. We wear ourselves out now, or worse still, get injured. We might as well show up gift-wrapped. Right, Kisara? That's right. Besides, Alfin still hasn't fully recuperated yet. I'm fine. Don't stop on my account. Oh, really? Well, in that case, it's me who wants to take a rest for a while. Does that suit you better? <laughs> a little bit. So, Alfin, 300 years, huh? Care to share the secret to such a long and healthy life? I wish I knew. You mean, there are still gaps in your memory? I've heard of Starsh. They're usually only... You think he might have... Might this name... What do you mean? If she's Renan... <laughs> Dohalim, that's a bit of a leap. Forgive me. I spoke out of turn. I'm merely thinking aloud, that's all. Shion and the maiden Naori. After 300 years... It's not unreasonable to suspect they may be related. Xion is nearly the perfect image of her, yes? She also just so happens to be connected to you. Is it merely a coincidence? <sighs> like I've told you a million times already, I wouldn't know. Well, if you're absolutely certain that it couldn't have been Naori, then I guess I must have been mistaken. Complicated machinery can sometimes break down or have failures. Sorry for being presumptuous. Hold on a sec. Alfin, you said the mask was to placate you, right? To keep your guilt and rage in check? And you were wearing it the whole time you were asleep, right? I guess I must have been. So that's 300 years you were wearing it. It's just a hunch, but do you think that the mask might be... The reason he lost all his memories? All but a select few strong ones so deeply ingrained in his psyche that he saw them in the form of dreams. It's not completely out of the question. In which case, maybe it was the mask numbing his sense of pain, too. It's certainly possible. As for how, I wouldn't know, but the dampening effect on his psyche could have manifested itself physically as well. <sighs> I'm sorry for snapping at you back there. It's thanks to you that I feel like I'm... No, that we're... Finally getting somewhere with all this. No apologies necessary. Reading others' feelings has never been my strong suit. So he finally admits it. I really hope Xion's okay. I get why you're concerned. But if you don't rest when you can, you're going to regret it. Alone. I'm all alone.
Let's go. We don't want to keep Xion waiting. I always hear you. Why do you want? No, real. Are you yet? What? Invoke? Uh. Astral. Um. Cut. Wait. Or you. May lightning contend those who bear fall. <laughs> I just asked. I don't know what. What do you mean? <laughs> you were. T no. Really? Cut it out. Uh. I was think. Yeah, of course. Right. That's a. Yeah. Okay. Because. But it's. Oh, yeah. I don't. Come to. Yeah. <laughs> I am? Yeah. Right. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Let's see what you've got. Can you take it? Huh? You picked the wrong fight. This one's mine. Like I can feel you where you stand. Now you've gone and ticked me off. Now you've got time to die. Benediction light. Here, flaming meteor. Dragon Sonic Drop. Here. Dragon Sonic Drop. Here. Yeah. And I'll take you all on. Ha! Flare the Malisha. My exploits are bearing fruit. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Okay. Okay. Yes. What? Really? Hmm. Dohalim. <laughs> Dohalim, I'm going to look into some seasonal fishing spots. Hmm. By all means. Leave the preparations to me as well. I'll bring the rods. Would you prefer your fish served grilled or raw? I'll uh, trust your judgment, Kisara. You guys want to rest here? That's what we're going to climb? The villagers managed it on their escape from the city. We're going in the opposite direction. Is it just me, or does Rinwell suddenly seem...